What's up everybody, I'm Derek Gamer. Welcome back to the channel today. Today we are back and today I am giving you guys my most anticipated sword and shield build, what I'm currently using. I have two builds. I have the Fatalis build that's super, super juicy, super comfortable. Then I have my Balls to the Walls Frostcraft build. And that one is 15% stronger as far as overall damage but it's a lot more riskier play style and you just gotta be make sure you're on your game and it's a little different how you play but today i'm gonna be focusing on the fatalis build i had a lot of people and ask me on instagram on tiktok on the twitch like what's the build what's the build so today i'm gonna be dropping the build my family if you're new make sure you guys subscribe without further ado let's dive in so first of all this weapon everyone keeps asking me, what is this weapon this is the rathalos layered armor layered weapon oh my god it's just probably the one of the most beautiful things i've seen in my life when it comes to layered arm weapons so i love that i got the buff body that's a chest piece auto guard on pants and the rajong headpiece because everybody keeps asking me as well dj dj what is your arm we're layered so now let's get to the actual build then i'll showcase it on a couple of monsters so you can see the damage variation between each monster this thing my boy named it the guillotine this thing just the guillotine build because it just does so much disgusting damage so let's get to it so we are using fatalis gear and as of course we're going to use attack augment and health region we have enough affinity so we're good there so this build what do we got here we got attack max style crit eye agitator evade window five we're just dodging through everything not worrying about nothing Stone resistance that comes with the armor, Fatalis armor, crit boost, weakness exploit, peak performance because my god, this weapon heals so because of the summer damage, you heal so much whenever you hit a monster. So peak performance is greatly utilized in this build. Part breaker too. You don't have to put this for you can put whatever you want in this slot. There's a couple of freebies in here. Well, I'll get to them in a second, but you don't have to put part break. You put something else wherever you want. Kushi comes with the uh, armor. Got tool specialist for two. Get the mantles back quicker. Handicraft. Just a little bit of comfort. We don't need that much, but one level of handicraft is good to make sure you stay in purple sharpness for the first each round. Because by the time the monster leaves the second area, you get a chance to sharpen. So you don't necessarily need to have that much handicraft. Moving over, we have Evade Extender, so our dodges go a little further. Divine Blessing, one level of it. Hello Essence, you only need one level. That's not the optimal. You can get three, but one level's good. Shaver Jewel, I know you can do the roll claw you can to tenderize, but this just makes it a little easier to just consistently tenderize the spot you want and not waste time like trying to get your claw you can correctly. So this is what we're currently using. Moving over, what do you need to make this happen? You need some good, juicy, juicy, juicy decos. So I got three attack fours on there, challenger four, two experts, critical maintenance, critical evasion, critical evasion, destroyer, jumping, evasion floor, handicraft, shaver, phoenix, and destroyer as well. I know you're wondering, AJ, AJ, you must have put a mod in to get your decorations. No, I did not. Every single jewel we have was farmed, grinded on the channel in our live streams as well so it just takes a little bit of time to get the steals you want this is a super op true fatalis build you can have some variations you might not be able to max out attack which is okay just get at least four levels of attack because at level four you get your affinity increased by five percent you want that after that you don't necessarily need to get level seven i just like to get it because why not extra damage extra damage crit eye is important because this weapon has a negative 30 affinity. So right now I have, what is that? 40 affinity, so I'm plus 10. Weakness exploit, that's 60 if I hit the weak spot. They get 20% from, from 5% from attack boost, that's 65. Then I get 20% from agitator and that's 85. So we're good. As long as we're hitting the weak spot, the tenderized weak spot, which most of the time we are doing just that. We're fine in terms of our affinity. If we're not tenderizing, if we're not hitting weak spots, then yes, you're just gonna do regular damage. And the goal here is you wanna make sure you get that crispy counter damage as well. This is the build. This is what we're rocking. I'm enjoying it. This weapon, it started off like, oh, this is an easy weapon to pick up. No, no. This weapon is probably one of the most complicated weapons to use. And it's so tricky because it's so inviting, but it's one of those situations where the deeper you get in, 
you start seeing the claws like get closer on your neck because this weapon is just like so tight but well, let's go ahead and show what it can do in battle to see why you should pick this weapon up if you're on the fence of which weapon to play next if you like the quick link zelda kind of short sword and shield quick action continuous combos and big damage then this is the weapon you want to use but let's get to it okay so like we said we want to make sure we're tenderizing the body so get that and this weapon is all about that perfect rush mm, mm. look at that oh the damage is just too good take one of those Beautiful. 300 damage, bro. 300 damage. This is a perfect spot right here. Mm, mm, mm. Just disgusting. So you see what my health does, right? All we need is one more combo of these. Beautiful. Look at that. It's just so strong. It's just, just so strong. Mm beautiful just like that that's why you want to play sword and shield mm, 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 mm. Andalum. Oof. also the frames you get mm. I know I was gonna let that one go because of the fact that we got the mantle on so it's important for us the only thing we gotta make sure we're doing is just tenderizing so we get that juicy damage. We had to bring against Kuftarov next because she's just extra juicy with the damage. So let's see what it can do in this situation. Stay right there. Ooh. Oh, I think we got her, but she was rolling. Thank you. Hmm. It doesn't matter. And the cool thing is it gets you out of the way in situations where you could be in trouble. Okay, here we go. The party is juicy. Oh, this, this is what we want right here. Let's make sure that stays juicy. Okay. Oh. No, <laughs> 598, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we're going for it. Oh, Mr. Whiskers. Oh. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Mr. Whiskers is the MVP, baby. The damage. The damage. Nope. See, I wasn't worried about that. I know how much health I can get back on each hit. I just feel like no one expected Sword and Shield to be this strong. Nobody. And just like that. It's going to the next phase. And of course we had to end it with the king. Tempered Fierce Rajan. We had to. Alright, get him good. Rajan is um good. But you just gotta be make sure you're careful. Because the openings are not that big. Hmm. Mm. Take a couple of those. Uh. Whew. I, I'm addicted. Oh, he's avoiding me. He knows what's coming. He doesn't want this guillotine on his ass. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh. Ooh. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh, that dodge. Take it. Take it. 
We got we got the math. We got to use it. Mm. Hoo -hoo -hoo. I wasn't mad at it. We'll take him. Toe to toe, baby. Watch it. Watch it. Okay, let's do it. Mm. Let it go. Take it. Because we heal so much. No, I need you to stay next to me. Oh. <laughs> How did I even get that mount? I literally walked up the ledge. We gotta get a beautiful one. Mm. Okay. Mm. It's amazing. That damage is just incredible. Incredible. Oh, too bad we're on the arm. <laughs> Beautiful, baby. Mm. That damage. Oh my goodness. Oh, don't don't give me this. Don't. Oh my goodness. We got to see the full combo in action. But ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. You saw the build. You saw an action. You saw the layer. Everything you need to know to have a strong, powerful, comfy build. It's in this video. If you found value in it, please give it a thumbs up and share it with people that are looking to go through the game. If you're new, subscribe. Till next time, dear gamers, signing out.